Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, what are we doing? Today we are reviewing a new product that I've been using for a while. This is the Garnier Green Labs 3-in-1 Night Super Smoothing Serum Cream. It's a lot in one title, but, but you guys, this is a great beginner's retinol. I have to say Garnier Green Labs did a really good job with this product. So um, I want to start off by saying this is a cruelty free product. <clears throat> it's paraben free. It is fragrance free. Um, it does have retinols with super berry blend in it. Uh, and I do like how there's no uh, mineral oil, there's no, you know, just garbage in this in particular product. They do, um, they do gear to the public, letting them know on the box that it is a cruelty-free, paraben-free, uh, mineral oil free type of product. Let me see if I can open this up. Probably not because I can't. It won't open anyways. It comes in a pump form. So really easy to dispense. I'm going to show you guys on my hand. Um, that's what it looks like. It's a hybrid cream serum. Um, but I don't, I don't use this alone. This is a retinol, so retinol is going to tend to make your skin dry, um, even though it is a cream base, and I'm going to show you here on my skin. Um, see how it turns into like a serum? It comes out as a cream, and as you blend it in, it is a serum. Uh, I definitely use a moisturizer on top of this, even though it says you don't have to, I personally do because my skin is just super sensitive when it comes to chemical exfoliation um, and anti-aging products that I do need that extra hydration. So as you can see, like you can tell the difference, like this one didn't have it, this one does. It definitely has that hydration in it, but it's not enough when I'm using, I'm using it as a retinol. I use this product every other night on my face and I always, always, always make sure I use a really deep moisturizing cream afterwards uh, or I'll use like a deep penetrating hydrating mask on top of this. And it really soothes my skin, keeps my skin clear. I never have an issue with this. Um, if you are someone in the market to try retinol, you don't want to go too high in prescription grade. You don't want to go too harsh with more of a higher end brand that might have a higher dose of retinol. Uh, I would definitely try the Garnier one first. I was really intimidated about using retinols because you have to be careful with what you put on your face when you are in the middle of using a retinol product. There are certain things that don't jive with retinols. Certain ingredients do not jive with retinols. So you have to be careful what you're putting on your face when you're using this. Now for me, uh, I'm very mindful of what I'm putting on my face on the days that I'm wearing this because um, it doesn't jive well with other chemical exfoliants like AEJs or BEJs. Uh, you want to be careful with when you're using vitamin C. Uh, try using the vitamin C in the morning and then use the retinol at night or use the vitamin C on the days you're not using the retinol. For me, particularly, my skin can handle using a vitamin C in the morning and then the retinol at night and I'm okay. Um, so it all depends on your skin and how your skin reacts to certain ingredients. Um, but definitely slowly introduce it into your skincare routine. Like when I first started using this, I started doing every other day 
sometimes I would do a couple days in a row, but then I would notice that it, by doing a couple days in a row, my skin would get a little bit flaky. So then I'd kind of like back off a bit and take a break for a few days. And then I would do it again. Am I gonna lay teeth? I'm just letting them lay teeth. I don't know why. Anyways, so like I was saying, don't just dive, dive in and do every night a retinol. Do it every other night. See how your skin reacts to it. And then adjust adjust the way you do uh, you apply retinol depending on how your skin reacts. Some people can handle their retinol every night and not and not have an issue. Some people that might be more sensitive like my like me might need to stick to an every other night routine. It still does something, okay? My skin is looking really, really decent with um, not as much texture as it used to be. Now, um, you get a lot of product. You get 50 mils in here, so I mean, it's a pump. I think I'm halfway done the bottle. It's a pump. Um, you're not digging your finger in, which I like, and it's a dark bottle, so you're not, um, you're not exposing it to light, which is good. I actually, guys, this, I was skeptical, but then when I tried it, I was really impressed. Um, I have to say though, Influencer did send me this bottle and I'm really glad they did because um, I don't normally test out products, certain products. Um, I don't go out and buy certain products unless they're sent to me. And this one happens to be one that I probably wouldn't have bought on my own unless um, somebody sent it to me to try. So Influencer um, was kind enough to send it to me complimentary to review. Um, and definitely, you know, I give you guys my 100% honest opinion and I was really surprised um, at how well this worked for my, my skin type. When I see retinol anywhere, I always get a little bit intimidated because you think of retinol and you think of horror stories or, you know, chemical exfoliating. And I've done a lot of chemical exfoliation over the years with serums and the toners and face masks and whatnot. And there have been times where I've gone through some hell and back with how it reacted on my face. So, um, I was intimidated, but you know what, you guys, I'm here to say, do not be intimidated by this. Um, if you were to try a retinol before you dive into the hardcore stuff, you definitely try the drugstore brand version because you're, you're going to start off low and you're going to gradually get your skin used to something that's a little bit more higher in dosage. So, um, if you're a newbie to retinol and you want to try it out, check out the Garnier one. I definitely recommend this one. When I'm done this bottle, I am going to repurchase in the future because I feel like if my skin can tolerate and continue to improve with just the drugstore brand, I'm going to stick to it. Why do I have to go and spend a hundred plus dollars? On a different retinol in Sephora if my skin is reacting well with this one right it's beauty on a budget people beauty on a budget that's what I like about this it's affordable it's drugstore you can find it anywhere thumbs up Garnier I'm really impressed with this I'm really thrilled um, if you guys have tried this let me know down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not I have plenty of more reviews to come plenty more plenty more bye everyone